the problem with believers why they have half journeys why they are unstable their faith is as unstable as the waves of the sea is because they are consumed by the 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 corresponding processes in the atmosphere the ways of the world not just the 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 commodities of the world that is given to you to to buy but the the seeming moving prosperous advantageous and fulfilled schemes of the world now this is so strong that it can attract a christian and draw that believer away from the path all right it draws the believer away from the path and the believer finds himself in other corridors he started well having begun in the spirit the you now end in the flesh but suddenly the prosperity of someone draws him away from the path it's because you see ah we don't teach these things in the kingdom i, I wish i wish i could i could talk about this mm. i've seen men of god who started in the kingdom they hoped and waited upon the Lord because they expected that at the beginning stage of their life they would not despise it. But at least after working for God for some time, they should be able to see the dividends of staying with the Lord. And they have measured the dividends of staying with the Lord with with the with worldly outcomes. Worldly outcomes. Worldly outcomes. Hmm. We would have been able to stay on the path if that path did not have transparent glass where we can see the movements and the advancement of the world. Imagine that you're on the path and that path is lonely and on that path you cannot see anything but the path. That will be easier because there's nothing that can draw you or take your attention. You would face the tongues and bristles that are littered on that path and your goal will be to get to the destination. But however, the path of the kingdom, the narrow road of the kingdom is one that although it is narrow, it has transparent glass. That glass helps us to see the wider parts of the kingdom of Satan, the wider part of the kingdom of darkness, the wider parts, the glamorous splendor of the adventures of the children of Belial, the children of Satan. <laughs> so you are moving on your narrow path but you are able to see the progress the speed <laughs> the movement of someone who is not in the camp of the twice born imagine a 12 year old boy just presses some buttons and he is a multi-millionaire meanwhile you are struggling with a trouser you are ironing it every day to wear to church you are told to be patient that the lord is is slow to mercy is compassionate you are told that you will eat the good of the land if you do the things that god has said you are told that prosperity is actually a commodity that every believer should have but he will have to walk upon the principles that have been placed upon this world that will result to finance you have done everything you are giving your tithe and your offering and you are loving the lord but yet you find the speed that accompanies the adventures of the paths of darkness so fast that speed begins to lure you <laughs> begins to lure you I so we have some persons who one feet is in the kingdom the other is in darkness it's because they want to it's a strange technology it's, it's the technology that was wielded by balaam the ability to hear from god but at the same time a diviner of spirits he had he had that true ability he could hear directly from god and then he could also divine it's a strange technology that technology is what is prevalent in the church it is because we have lost sight of internal things and the church has not really educated its combats as to the style and your presence the modus operandi of the kingdom and the things that are necessary that they should feast their heart upon so that they will not be lured away or be beguiled by the schemes and the wings of darkness one leg in the church the other leg is out in the world the only way to be prosperous is to join the train of those ones who have subscribed to the systems of this world in case, in case you don't know in case you don't know the world has every system for you there's nothing that you can be born with that the world that cannot absorb 
satan who has been in this world for thousands of years have been able to strategically bring forth systems that can absorb every god-given thought every god-given talent every god-given scheme And it, and it and it triples it it triples it it triples it. the work is lesser the 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 riches of this world is made upon the backs and shoulders of men to go up you have to climb on top of the back of another not supportively but oppressively this is how the 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 wisdom of this world operates and even believers are subscribing to that technology because they they they, they cannot stay there's nothing that keeps them focused in the kingdom their understanding of internal things have been tainted and so they cannot stay long they will try they will try i've seen a pastor he, he will try for long he he stays in his church he's just 15 members the tight is not coming in too much but he's trying to stay upon the lord suddenly a young pastor drives a venza around him and then he he shakes his head and says, well, i'm supposed to be on this by now you see something is wrong it's not only that he has he has desired the commodity of zion sorry the commodity of darkness but that he has lost focus in zion let me explain to you these things for every every commodity that darkness displays that you desire it is a replacement for a commodity in zion that you have lost appetite for listen 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 to this listen to this. this is important stay with me stay with me mm. so to want the corridors of the prosperity that finds expression in darkness is to have lost appetite for the prosperity that is launched in the commonwealth of zion you see zion has a provision for its citizens immediately you are born again the implications of regeneration is that your file is sent to the new kingdom it becomes responsible for your welfare if you see some of you did not know that you implicated yourself when you were born again i wish i could speak about the implications of your regeneration it's, it's an implication because it's not something you signed for <laughs> you you would have been able to enjoy the dividends of just being one that is not a believer you see those people it looks as if their ways are smoother i know you have asked that question why is there a long rope for wickedness and a short rope for goodness why are people who do good killed more than those who do evil the ways of the wicked seems to be swift but you see the testament of scriptures is what gives us hope that's why when you look at scriptures you must find out the perspective of god concerning very salient questions that you have asked in your heart and if you do not have an answer for it i tell you you will not you will not stay long in the corridors of zion you will you will go astray <laughs> you will go astray you go astray many young converts have come into the kingdom with the hope of bliss and blessedness but they will be so surprised and shocked because they are not taught the implications of regeneration 